One of the things I think that defines us as human beings, as beings, is our inquiring mind. And I was talking to somebody this morning, uh, and inevitably we were talking about cats and about the death of my, my cat, and um, this person rather shockingly suggested that cats don't have souls. Uh, I respectfully disagree with her. Um, I think cats do have souls, and I don't know quite what that means. Uh, if we go back to Aristotle, a soul is the animating being, and uh, certainly they uh, had a personality and had a memory. Uh, and his sister Hannam had an extraordinary personality and memory. Um, and I think that tells us something. Is it an eternal soul? Yes, I think so. And what does that mean? Well, in Christian Orthodox theology, there's an idea uh, put out by St. Athanasius called Theosis. God became man that man may become God. And we are in the process of divinization, whether we like it or not. Uh, it's just happening. I think this is a discovery that Christianity made um, that other religions have also made. We are in the process of participation with divinity, with the source. And that, that we can also find in Kabbalism, where we are identifying sparks of divinity within uh, creation. That may be within my cat, within me, within anything that is done. This is what uh, brokers are all about, uh, the uh, blessing the works of God, bless, uh, attributing to God the, um, uh, the, 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 rightful, um, the rightful respect as creator. But I think God participates in this creation. The source is part of everything. We return to the source and we are incorporated. So all children of God. And I don't think it really matters too much which religious tradition one subscribes to. I don't believe in being eclectic. I don't, um, I think we enter whatever house of spiritual um, life we choose, we enter through a door. That door may be Christianity, may be Judaism, may be Islam, may be atheism. But it's a door which gives us an anchor in uh, our confidence to go through this life and inquire. And ideally, we meet people who don't share our point of view. And that stimulates further inquiry. And that stimulates further thought and the development, the expansion of our universe, because the universe is expanding. Why is it expand it's expanding? Because it has to, because our thoughts expand and the universe is simply a reflection in microcosm of what's happening in the, in the greater universe. Um, our, our bodies, our minds are a mini universe and we are in charge in a, in a limited way of that um, and I think we must respect I think we must uh, honor other creatures and other people who don't share our point of view um, I'm I, I was I was quite distressed actually by this lady who who was quite firm and I, I think wrong absolutely wrong um, there's a person called Lindsay who wrote a very good book about prayers for animals um, uh, an Anglican priest uh, and there are many there are many saints within Christianity uh, in the Orthodox tradition in the Catholic tradition who have uh, prized animals in, in, in Islam in Judaism and I think there's um, I should I, I should miss Bay enormously, um, 
and uh, but, it, but, it, but, it, but it's good to have a little bit of time to digest the thoughts and think yeah Bay is um, Bay is as much a part of me as much a part of my family my partner my uh, my world as as I am a part of Bay because we are we are all a part of each other and that's why why I think the debate about Brexit was so wrong um, Brexit was such a negative discussion I have no problem with uh, reforming Europe and calling for reform but quitting uh, the divorce from Europe I think is not was, was not the solution to the problem that I would have advanced and um, and that, that is partly because of the John Donne poem No Man is an Island and we are not separate from the whole we are united with the whole I think that union is a good thing uh, and it doesn't matter what views we take it doesn't matter whether we have a political standoff we are still united with the whole the uh, United Kingdom is not going to float off like some sort of island in Dr. Doolittle into the middle of the Atlantic just not going to happen we are united with the whole and we are united with uh, all the people we come in con into contact with and all the animals and all the institutions we are united um, sometimes not necessarily a, 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 a positive thought I, I, um, I wince at the thought that I'm united with the present uh, government and um, and cabinet and Suella Bradman and all these cronies but I'm sure if we were to meet we'd enjoy a very pleasant cup of tea and thrash out the issues um, unless of course it was Mrs May in which case she would do all the talking and I would be expected to listen anyway have a good day